Hi, welcome back to Carla Astrology. Um, today I'm doing the ninth prompt, which is I'll never forget. So I'll never forget one time when I was probably 10 or 11. Um, we I lived in a farmhouse with my mom and stepdad. And my sister and um, I had an upstairs a bedroom and um, Rochelle and my parents were downstairs so one time in the middle of the night I woke up and I happened to look to my left and I seen a mirror like I was laying flat and I was could see myself in the mirror and it felt like I was like floating and um all of a sudden I felt myself being eased onto the couch and um I realized that I was in the living room I knew I had went to bed in my bed upstairs so how I got there I was extremely confused and um and it wasn't those things where you think you're awake in a dream um I knew I was awake and I was having a hard time moving. Um, I knew that I was experiencing sleep paralysis. And as I'm laying there, I'm looking down like this and I can see into the foyer or the, um, the room where you walk in through the front door. And <clears throat> there was a gray bean short little guy he's at the door and he's got three long fingers and he's just looking at me with these big almond eyes and he's slowly closing the door as he looks at me and he's going like this with his fingers and then he closes the door and he's gone and I felt like he was just like making sure I was okay um anyway I must have fallen asleep there because I was having a hard time, you know, staying awake. And um, I fell asleep and then I woke up and I was on the couch. No blanket, nothing, just on the couch. And I don't, I don't remember if my bedroom door was open or not, but, um, or what happened after that. But I remember noticing that I had like a mole on my ankle and it was itchy you know um and then in my 40s it happened again but I was um sleeping next to my significant other and um I had my cat laying she was like laying on my thighs and there, I, I was dreaming actually of being abducted and like they were messing with me, you know, like messing with my body. And, um, for some reason my cat bit me while I was having this dream and she would never, never bite me. Um, she, uh, Bob had told me that I had been making some funny noises in my sleep, like moaning, like I was in pain. And he thought maybe she bit me because I was scaring her with the noises I was making. So this was like sometime in the middle of the night. Also, after she bit me, of course, I woke right up. And, um, background noise, of course, babies, always. <laughs> um, so I, uh, um, went to the bathroom and I noticed that my ankle, where the mole was that I had had since the first abduction, had a little bit of blood coming out of the center of it. And it's like, it dawned on me at that point what had happened Whatever they had stuck in my ankle at that time, it 
they took out. So, those are two incidences that um, I know I was abducted. And they put something in my ankle. Um, I'm sure it has happened many times before that. Um, but those are the two times that I remember. And those are two things that I'll never forget.